If you grew up in the 2000s like me, then what I'm about to show you will fill you with nostalgia. Yes, flash games. Little players that you could put onto your website that could show you all kinds of things. Flash was everywhere back during the 2000s up until the late 2010s. From game developers to advertisers, anyone who was anyone used Flash back in the day for basically anything. Sadly, however, Flash came with it some negatives and risks, mostly privacy risks. And by the end of the 2010s, Flash had proven itself obsolete. By the start of 2021, Adobe had to completely block Flash from playing on most internet browsers, and they took the servers that held them online along with them. This is why Flash games and animations have become a huge hot topic when it comes to the world of lost media, since a lot of Flash-based media is now lost thanks to the death of Flash. This is especially true for older websites that basically lived off of Flash, those akin to all those random game websites and promotional websites from various companies. In terms of the latter, one that instantly comes to mind is Wonka.com. If you grew up in the 2000s at all like me, then you probably remember Willy Wonka being a pretty dominant name in the candy industry. Nestle had a Willy Wonka themed subsidiary that was responsible for classic candy such as Nerds and Laffy Taffy. While there is a good stockpile of Wonka company media that does still exist, like print ads and toys and files left over on archive.org, there is a surprising amount of media that is lost. The most prime example in my mind that comes to lost Wonka media, and this example pertains to Wonka.com specifically, is a lot of images that documented the adventures of the fancy and fabulous Wonkamobile, a Wonka food truck that toured across the US during the late 90s up until the mid to late 2010s. A lot of the photos taken of the Wonkamobile and the mascot costume they used that used to be on the Wonka website are now sadly lost. There are other third party images that do exist from editorial stock image archives and other images scattered across parts of the interwebs, but the specific photos from Wonka.com are basically lost forever. Another thing from the old Wonka website that is likely lost to time are high quality versions of Wonkagrams, which are animated e-cards on the Wonka website that you could send to your friends through email. All of the icons for them are still up, but like all but one or two of the actual high quality animated cards are lost. Another example I can think of are two games that used to be on the Wonka website. There are many fun and memorable Wonka branded Flash games that were released during the site's first couple of years. Shocked Hearts, the wannabe Wonka Gang, the terrifying Laffy Taffy 3D Pyramid game. All of these are staples in the childhoods of quite a few people who grew up with the 2000s era of internet. There are like two known games on the website that are lost. A Laffy Taffy puzzle game which was essentially a bunch of jigsaw puzzles with the Wonka brand pasted over them. And another one that was a Pixie Sticks game, though I've only heard about like this one game through a website that had all the Wonka games listed on and like, that's it. The site also had this subscription service that was known as Club Wonka during its early years, and one exclusive game you could get through this was a game called The Unpredictable Wonkanizer, which was a create-your-own-adventure game. Oddly enough, a lot of The Unpredictable Wonkanizer is up on archive.org, which the only shred of evidence that this thing ever existed is in the form of the old Wonka website on the Club W login screen. What this unpredictable Wonkanizer game could have been is entirely a mystery. I personally think it was like a primitive version of those comic creator games, like what Arthur and Spongebob had. But then again, that's just pure speculation. And let's be real here, this was an old Shockwave game from the late 90s that you could only access through this stupid online subscription service. So unfortunately, this game very likely isn't going to be showing up anytime soon, if I- Yeah, can we agree to disagree and say that the past never happened? Now, Wonka was a pretty big name in the Americas back in the day. And from what I can tell, they sold products all over the world. However, one of the most notable foreign locations in this context was the United Kingdom, because believe it or not, the face of Wonka was completely different in the United Kingdom. What I personally consider the Wonka Company's golden years was during the late 90s up until the mid 2000s. During this time, they had their own website and commercials, and they all had a certain style, for lack of a better word. The design for Wonka was a simple 2D cartoon, and in the commercial specifically he was animated into 3D shots of his massive and wondrous factory, and it looks really cool, especially for the late 90s and early 2000s. The website itself is kind of a different beast altogether. During this time, the website was 
Ice rain all around for everyone! In all seriousness though, this was your usual run-of-the-mill early 2000s website, complete with simple graphics made up of GIF images and, and news about stuff like the Wonka Mobile Tourist and sweepstakes that were going on at the time and all the shockwave games that were on site. And even an educational center where you could learn about random subjects. Everything on the website itself was 2D. No 3D-esque sprites at all, not even 2D sprites taken of 3D images. Now, this was how Wonka.com was in the United States. Nestle actually had a UK sister site under the URL of Wonka.co.uk. As you can see, even the very first design of Wonka.co.uk was vastly different from the US site. They used 3D models for all the characters and settings, and it looks really uncanny. Not only this, but they used the exact same art style for a set of commercials produced by Ardman Animations, famous for their work on the Wallace and Gromit series. Of course, they also had their own version of Club W, and at least this capture of the Wonka.co.uk UK site has a theme song which... which... um... Wonka UK was different in other aspects, too. They had a different guy voicing Wonka in these commercials. I think it's Jimmy Hibbert. Don't quote me on this, but I do think it's Jimmy Hibbert. He was a talented British voice actor who had various roles during his life. They also had quite a few UK exclusive candies, which included Wonka Lit, Wonka Screams, and Wegs. I think the most popular ones were the Exploder Bars, which were chocolate bars with rice and pop rocks inside them. These were initially made for the United Kingdom, but they would be localized in other countries a few years after their release. And of course, the star of the show here, the entirely different rub site, which... Well, let's find out more about it by exploring it. One thing you'll notice in the flash file for this capture of the site is that there's a list of games. Hey, look at- hey, wait, um, these games don't look f what what are these games? Are these exclusive games? Okay, so, let's talk about this. Actually, no, before I even try and talk about any of these games, I need to talk about the difference between Shockwave games and Flash games. In layman's terms, Shockwave games were more primitive versions of Flash games. Take everything I say about Shockwave with a grain of salt since I don't know exactly how this works, but... Shockwave games ran off of two file types. There's the DCR file, which was used to project the actual game, and the director cast, or CCT files, which were encrypted compression files used to store the Shockwave game's data, such as sounds and graphics. Flash files were more advanced and could do a lot more with media, and everything including the sounds, scripts, and graphics were stored in the single .swf file instead of having multiple files stored on a server. This is important because when we talk about the Wonka UK games, and especially why they're lost, is going to put quite a lot of things into context. And I'm sure you're probably asking, what were the Wonka UK games like? Well, there were quite a few of them. I will be using two sources here, the old homepage flash file that was used during the really early 2000s, and a navigation flash file that was made sometime after the site got a facelift in late 2001 or early 2002. The Golden Ticket Game. The Golden Ticket Game is described in an old capture as, To enter my factory, you first have to find the Golden Ticket. You'll find it outside the factory under one of the Wonka boxes. But which one? Once you find it, use it to open the factory gates, but steer clear of the everlasting gobstoppers. They'll slow you down and zap your strength. So come on, don't dilly-dally, I'm a busy man. In the 2001 site, it's described as, To enter my factory, you first have to find the golden ticket, and the quicker you find it, the more points you'll score. Jump on the Wonka boxes outside the factory and you'll find extra score, time, strength, and perhaps a golden ticket. Avoid the everlasting gobstoppers. They'll slow you down and zap your strength. Once you've found the ticket, you can open the factory gates, which you'll find near the start screen. Good, Good luck. luck! From what I can guess, it's like a top-down... Well, I guess a more apt term would be a three-quarter angle exploration game where you traverse a small level, trying to find a golden ticket as fast as you can, a key that can be used to win said level pretty much, and I'm guessing that your strength constitutes at sheer health? And the gobstoppers are enemies? My critical thinking skills are terrible today, I am sorry. The Wonka Factory Game. This is what I can assume is a continuation of sorts of the Golden Ticket game. The game is described by the old site as, wonka Rific, you found the Golden Ticket! Hurry now because I need your help to find my lost candy. Run around the factory finding nerds and dweebs. Fill your pockets full of bonus candy. This will give you extra time and more Wonka power. 
Watch out for the bubbling Waka Chalk and secret switches. What in the frick is Waka Chalk? And the facelifted site describes it as, I need your help to find my lost candy. Search the factory for nerds and dweebs, remembering to collect them in the correct order. Find the secret switches and jump on the candy crates for hidden surprises, but watch out for the bubbling Wonka Chalk and the everlasting Gobstoppers. When you have found all the candy, you may play my latest invention. The doors to this challenge are located on the start screen. Good luck! The Exploder Room. This was... Based off of these horrifically low-quality screenshots, this might be the equivalent of a top-down version of the train transformation minigames from Yoshi's Island. I think, maybe, kinda, I guess. I mean, I'm going off what can only barely be considered screenshots here, people. Bear with me. The old website describes it as, Collect the sparky bits from around the Waka track. These will be used in my exploder bars. Watch out for the sparky stealers. They will try and bump you off the track and steal your sparky bits. Quickly now or you will run out of time. Return here regularly. You will never know what you might find. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. And in the revision it states, Ride your explodoscope around the track and collect the sparky bits to use in my exploder bars. Be as quick as possible or you will run out of time. Watch out for the spark stealers. They will bump you off the track and steal your sparky bits. With 8 levels to clear you need to be a bright spark to play this game. The Egg Exploder Game. The Egg Exploder Game is I think a quick time event sort of deal where you click at the right time to win. I think. In the old website, it says, Gremlins have been spotted looking around the Wonka Exploder egg machine. Help Mr. Wonka find the pesky gremlins by using the X-ray machine. One blast of the X-ray will reveal the constant of the egg. If the gremlin is inside it, it will lose some of its strength. If not, you lose some of yours. The egg machine gets faster the more you play. Can you keep up? It's you versus the gremlins. Good luck! And the revised website says, Gremlins have been spotted looking around the Wonka Exploder egg machine. Help me find them by using the X-ray machine. One blast will reveal the content of the egg. If the gremlin is inside it, it will lose some of its strength. If not, you lose some of yours. The egg machine goes faster the more you play. Are you enough of an egghead to keep up? Dessert game. This is most probably a primitive Wooly Wonka version of Where's My Water. The synopsis on the old website says, Gremlins have removed all the plumbing from the Exploder dessert making machine. It is your job to connect the pipes together so that the chocolate mousse can travel from the chocolate mousse maker across the Exploder bits to the Walker Exploder dessert delivery machine. Good god, that is a mouthful. And in the revised website, it states, Gremlins have removed all the plumbing from the exploded dessert making machine. Connect the pipes together so the chocolate mousse can travel from the mousse maker across the exploder bits to the Wonker exploded dessert delivery machine. Watch out for those pesky gremlins, they'll sabotage your pipes. I have so many unanswered questions about everything that is being said here. Wonka Vader quiz. This was a quiz game where you had to answer questions relating to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. The old website says, You found my Wonka Vader quiz. The questions will sort out the Charlie buckets from the Veruca Salts. Send the elevator flying through all 10 levels to land some great prizes. Good luck! And on the newer website, it says, You found my quiz. The multiple choice questions are all taken from the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory books and will sort out the Charlie buckets from the Veruca Salts. Answer them as quickly as possible. Every correct answer lights up a green light. Light up enough and send the elevator flying through all 10 levels. Good luck! Okay, this is where things start to get very mysterious. The next three games that I'm going to talk about were added later into the website's life, aka the revised flash file that I'm using. So there will be only one description for them. And as far as I can tell, there are no archive screenshots for these games, so it's going to be astronomically more difficult trying to deduce what the heck these were supposed to play like. Let's start with... The Wonkalit Game. Help! The nerds are running wild in the factory! Help me trap them with the purple Wonkalit blocks. Cover as many nerds as possible before time runs out. Watch out for the bouncing blocks and keep away from the Wonkalit jugs. There are 12 levels to this game and each one gets harder and harder, so you'll need to keep your wits about you. Okay, so the- oh, okay, look, look, stop right now. As Try as I might, I cannot for the life of me figure out what in the world this is supposed to be. Maybe it's like The Adventures of Lolo, considering you're moving blocks? Look, I, ha I am sorry, but I am just at a loss for words. I have no idea what in the heck this game could have been. Oh my goodness. The Wag Game. Use the Squickle Gun to shoot the Snozberry nerds as they fall from the pipes and keep the orange nerds out of the room. We are off to a fantastic start with this description, aren't we? When you gloop a nerd, the Wago meter will fill up. Fill it completely and move on to the next level. Use the Squump to bosh glooped nerds as they pop out of the rasp tank. 
Whatever you do, don't squump the wag wabbit, or you'll lose your wag stash. Good squumping! What in the forever frickin' frack did I just read? Based on this info, I can assume that this was some sort of simple tower defense game where you have an egg stash that you need to protect from nerds, and there's also a target that you aren't supposed to hit, the rabbit or whatever. Really makes me wish this game was still alive, it kinda reminds me of Balloon's Tower Defense. The Oompa Game. Bounce the Oompa Hopper across the Loompa Land grid to go over bubbling ribbles of rhubarb and custard, mashed potato mountains, snozberry fields, and popcorn geezers. Land on the checkpoint squares to save your progress as you make your way to the goal at the end of every level. Use the donuts to bounce higher and further, but watch out for the jumping caterpillars, flying forks, and wild snozberries. And the mystery squares? Well, they're a mystery. Good luck! I swear, these games are getting more and more dumb as we go on. Okay, so it should be apparent from this description that this is very likely an action platformer. And considering you're on an Oompa Hopper, it's probably like Happy Wheels where you're on the equivalent of a pogo stick the entire time, maybe? And those are all the Wonka UK Flash games that we know of. I have to say, this is a pretty interesting case of lost media. And yes, these games are sadly lost, and they're probably gonna remain that way for the rest of time. You wanna know why? Remember when I told you about how Shockwave files work? Yeah, when I loaded one of the games as a CDR files into a Shockwave projector, it asked me to find some of the CCT files. And that right there is why all of these Wonka UK games are lost forever. While a good amount of CCT files for the games have been preserved on the Wayback Machine, not all of them have, and from what I can recall, the CCT files containing the scripts for literally every game have become lost. And all of this legitimately wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the fact that the CCT files are encrypted. Not only can you only play these in Adobe Director, which by the way is hard to find if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, I've tried loading them in the director itself, and it still says they're protected and cannot be opened. And this is where the trail goes cold. To my knowledge, there is legitimately no easy way to unprotect these files. Every single thing I've tried has proven fruitless. There is a thing called CCT Recover, however, when I open it, it asks for a file that I do not have! Yay! So, I've hit a brick wall, and I legitimately don't know where to go from here. If anyone has any ideas on how the heck I'm supposed to figure this out, please let me know because I am just at my wits end with this. Also, in the middle of writing this script, I found out that there was also an Australian Wonka.com, Wonka.com.au, but so little of it has been archived to the point where it really isn't worth talking about. The history and mystery behind Wonka UK is certainly very interesting. From the really odd-looking visuals to the fantastical and elusive UK-exclusive candies, it's a, it's a really odd experience compared to what us Westerners got to experience. And if you want me to be honest, it's really sad. It really makes me wish I grew up in the UK because I love the uncanny 3D visuals they used for the Wonk UK branch marketing. Our mini animations did a great job with this character. And these two kids, whoever they are, and the UK exclusive games look very interesting and I really do wish these still exist in their entirety so that us 2000s kids could take a blast from the past sort of and experience a tiny bit of internet history. For right now though, these games are going to remain a mystery. Will they remain that way until the end of time? I really hope not. I mean, they kind of are, but at the same time, the director cast files, I know they contain something, at least I really, really hope they do. But for right now, they'll have to remain encrypted until someone with an interest in old Shockwave files decides to be a hero and figure out a way to unencrypt these files. A way that comes from this decade! I do have hopes. They're low hopes, but they're still hopes that content from these games will be found. Here's to hoping. Fingers crossed.